Hi guys and welcome to the latest random platypus review. I can only apologise that it's taken nearly a year to get a video out really um, of any real kind of note. Um, as you're all aware, uh, worldly things are going on which have kind of made me busy in other ways and distracted me in other ways. Uh, I plan to start doing some podcasts so it's not just videos and things uh, which I'll put up on YouTube as well. Um, as other areas, maybe through the blog, um, just to kind of touch on how people have used gaming um, and modelling and painting and things to get them through these these difficult times, really. But I thought I'd kick it all off with a review because obviously I'm still buying miniatures. Who hasn't been, right? You know, essentially saving money on commuting to work and things for those of you that have been able to work from home. But I thought what I'd start off with is. Um, some, some crooked dice miniatures. Now I happen to know that these actually, well, three of them didn't start off with crooked dice and they've acquired them over time. So what we have are these three, three miniatures, or four miniatures should I say. I actually only paid for three which is why it's probably me thinking it's three. This one was a freebie. Um, I don't know if it comes up very well on the camera. It should do. Yeah, there you go. So she's from a pack of like villains um, that was being given as a freebie for orders and during a certain month. Um, I believe she's uh, designed to be a possible James Bond sidekick villain. So those of you know that Crooked Dice, they do 7 TV, which is um, allows you to play sort of like your favourite eras of movies and things. Uh, this guy is from he's called a, he's called Savage. Is a group of um, a pack of savages that they do. Now this chap was originally um, part of a range for a friend of mine, Akula, who sometimes appears on the felt forum, but is well known. To other crowds, anybody that was part of Frothers, still part of Frothers on Facebook, uh, or the Lead Adventure Forum, will probably recognise Akula's name. He's done various projects of his own where he's commissioned figures and things. The Rangers nearly always end up being passed on after a certain time to some other people, but he, he does it for his own project and sells them at the same time and then moves on to the next project. And this guy is loosely based on one of the characters from. Uh, Far Cry, one of the Far Cry games. Uh, I believe sculpted by Kev White. Um, I think you can get him for about £4 if I remember rightly through uh, Cricket Dice. I actually have the order form here so I shall quickly tell you. Um, I think the pack is about, you obviously get a bit of a discount on a pack. Uh, but yeah, he was £4. Um, and £4 for a Kev White sculpt. I, I, I mean, you, you can't knock it really. So I've got him for some of my sci-fi adventures. I've actually got another order coming in soon from another manufacturer which is going to be part of his crew. Um, it's going to be like sci-fi pirates so to speak. Um, as you can see he's kind of got a, a pack on his back which is kind of cool to stick all his swag in and he's got a machete and a pistol so he's quite lightly armed. I may well stick um, a rifle somewhere as well uh, if I fancy it. Um, possibly switch that pistol for a, a more sci-fi pistol. I'm not sure yet, I'm just gonna have to have a think about him, see why I go next with him. But he's, he, I've had my eye on him for a while shall we say. And then the other two, the other two are from their cult, um, from a, their sci-fi range which was, uh, I mean they call them explorers but they're from what was the colony, I want to say 87 range, um, but sci-fi and under the, the Crooked Dice category. In fact, these are, like I say, these are called Explorers, and there's a pack of two, and they were eight pounds. So they, again, they were four pounds each. The main, the main reason for me getting these is in our Necromunda campaigns, I write these little um, news pieces, essentially. They're not very big, maybe one, one side of A4 big that just gets published on um, the blog and the Random Platypus forum 
and I shared the guys via Facebook that are involved in the in the campaign. Um, and the guy that writes it frequently refers to the, I mean, he writes, so basically it's the Hades Chronicles, the name of the paper. And I've been looking for a character to represent the guy that's been writing the articles, like a reporter. But it has to be sci-fi. So I saw this, this guy, and he's clearly recording something on like a data pad. And I figured, well, he would, he would make a good sort of reporter type. He doesn't really look like a fighter, and that's fine. And this other guy happened to come in the pack, and he could easily be... I mean, he's got... I'm just looking at it, look at it myself. It looks like he's got some plants or something in his hands, and... You know, he could be a rogue doc, a trader, you know, various different things he can serve the role of. Maybe a gilder of some sort. Um, but this this chap frequently writes of the Hades, the Hades um, Chronicle uh, sort of security guard who's called Rivethead. Uh, and I've, I've actually got Rivet Head already. I've converted him using a, a, a sculpt that a friend uh, 3D sculpted and printed for me um, and then gave me a couple of miscasts for. So this was originally going to be a, um, a, a Goliath Zerker and it's a bit, it was very, sort of didn't come out so well on the print. So I've converted bits which were a bit broken. So there's a Sentinel foot or I think it's actually a toe from the Sentinel, uh, Plastic Games Workshop Sentinel. Um, there's another 3D print part here from one of the the Games Workshop robot -y type things for Skitari, I believe. Uh, and part of an orc arm with an orc slugger. And then an old puppet war. I don't think you can get it anymore. Head stuck on with a mixture of green stuff and milliput, which is why it appears to be quite light. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to sculpt for me, I find. And then some guitar string, uh, you know, metal guitar string to for cabling. So he, this is going to be Rivet Head, and he's the, the security. So essentially, I was getting this for this guy. And they go around the battlefield, it's those two together, essentially. Which will be an interesting part of our campaigns. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. I shall... Um, do my usual of, of doing some lineups. Uh, I think I've got some moderns I can put next to them to line up against these two if needed. Uh, obviously sci-fi for the others. But yeah, let me know how it's going and how you're getting on and what you think of these these figures. And hopefully straight after this you'll see the scale shot and some funky music. Catch you next time guys. Bye bye now.